This new feature is tested on iPhone 14 Pro Max. And one good news for Apple fast charger lover, since Apple is going to put a new 30 baht of fast charger support in iPhone 14 Pro Max. Are you guys thinking of getting a USB Type-C cable? Then it is not going to happen this time, but in the next year's iPhone 15 because of EU laws. And there is no adapter in the box, you have to buy it from third party. And this didn't change much from iPhone 13 Pro Max, because iPhone 13 Pro Max charges between 23 watt to 27 watt, while iPhone 14 Pro Max goes up to 30 watt, which as a user you don't even feel it until Apple use different charging process to make it faster. You guys may have heard about satellite feature that Apple is going to introduce in iPhone 14 Pro Max, and for that, the testing is completed, which means we are going to see a satellite feature on upcoming event, and you can actually message through this feature in an emergency. If you are thinking of updating from iPhone 13 Pro Max to iPhone 14 Pro Max, then these are the difference. New cameras, new display, and new features, potentially no design change. And if you are thinking of getting iPhone 14, then I would suggest go with the Pro versions because smaller iPhones are not getting these updates and some inside information indicated that we may get a same processor just like the iPhone 13, which is disappointing. But Pro versions are getting a new A16 Bionic chip with the 6 gigs of RAM and 3 storage options, 256 gigs, 512 gigs and 1 TB version. Ahead of iPhone 14 launch, we get the case for it and it looks similar to iPhone 13 Pro Max just with the bigger camera lenses. You guys might be excited about the new 48 megapixel camera on iPhone 14 Pro Max, and Apple may add a new feature in it. Maybe Apple will name it Space Zoom or Astrophotography, and the ultra wide lens is also improving in low light imaging. If you are an owner of iPhone 13 Pro Max or a device over iPhone 10, then you guys should be happy since Apple is going to launch iOS 16 on upcoming event, which will bring some noticeable changes compared to the previous generation, like adding a new battery percentage and a new lock screen and much more. If you're looking for an Apple event, then it is going to happen on September 7th, a week earlier because of recession, and we might see Apple Watch Series 8 and Apple AirPods Pro second generation along with the iPhone 14 lineup. And if you're looking to get iPhone 14 Pro Max from stores, then iPhone 14 Pro Max Max will be available on stores on September 16. So that is all for today's video. If you came this far, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments which feature do you like the most in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.